Today we're in Houston, Texas, and we're at the bus tour for Leticia Vanderput, who's running for Lieutenant Governor of Texas. And my children ask me, well, why, what, Mama, why do you want to do this? Because I love being a state senator. And I said, I'm just not happy. What I hear from them is not what I want for my children and my grandchildren, not what I want for your children and your grandchildren. You know, if Mama ain't happy, <laughs> ain't nobody happy. <laughs> but if Grandma ain't happy, <laughs> run. <laughs> and so I am. I'm running to be your she met with our TW Texas State Conference. We felt so positive about her and her genuine interest in working people's issues. So we immediately voted as the state conference to endorse her. Through conversation, it came up that she wanted to do a bus tour. There in the room, when she was meeting with us, we said, well, hey, we've got a bus. We started out from San Antonio to Laredo, El Paso, Wichita Falls, Dallas, Nacogdoches, Lufkin, Lubbock. Tonight, we'll leave for Coppers. We're letting the politician know that if you don't work with us, we're not going to work with you. We found somebody that's going to work with us. TWU <laughs> is providing this in-kind service to our next lieutenant governor. I am so grateful to the Transport Workers Union for the ability to even be on the bus. This bus was a working bus. It was a total workstation. People could be working on their computers and we were able to visit when we needed a staff meeting. As we rolled into community after community, people wanted to take a picture of the bus or of them in front of the bus. It became the symbol of moving along and listening to the, really to the concerns of Texans in 16 cities in nine days. 2,500 plus miles, an opportunity and a memory that I will never forget. Thank you to the Transport Workers Union. I talked to so many who were very worried about the transportation infrastructure and said we are stuck and congested in traffic. Thank you, Army Mom. Thank you. We talked with veterans and they talked about the need to make it easier for the transition to civilian life. We went to Midland and to Lubbock, what I didn't expect was this feeling, has my state abandoned us? Do they even know we exist? And over and over again, I heard that. That, to me, was very, very surprising. I feel like she's gonna be there for us. She's going to fight for us. She speaks from the heart. No one will ever forget Senator Davis's historic filibuster. And no one will ever forget the words of Senator Matisse Van de Pute that caused the chamber to erupt. Mr. President, parliamentary inquiry. The state your inquiry. At what point must a female senator raise her hand or her voice to be recognized over the male colleagues in the room? Senator Van de Pute tapped into the frustration that we all felt that night and gave voice to those of us who felt like we were being run over. She was the one who turned the filibuster over to the people. Today, Senator Leticia Van de Pute is having her last rally, actually, for a statewide tour at the University of Texas. Please welcome the next lieutenant governor of the great state of Texas. You know, and I know, and smart business people know, that the innovations, the learning that happens at our tier one institutions spark the economy. I think her stances on education, veterans' rights, and equal pay are something Texas so sorely needs. She really wants to make life better for working people, for students, teachers, small businesses, veterans, and all of us in the transportation industry. And she's extremely qualified, extremely passionate, and would be one of the best lieutenant governors Texas has yet to see. We all know that what starts here changes the world. And I know that Senator Vanderpute puts Texas families first. As our next lieutenant governor, she will be our voice in the Texas Capitol. I'm running. I'm running to be your next lieutenant governor.